The number of illegal immigrants in every state in America. Welcome back to Inspiring World. Have you ever wondered how many undocumented immigrants live in each state across the US and what that means for those communities? Today, we're diving into some fascinating statistics that reveal the widespread impact of illegal immigration across America. Some of these numbers might surprise you, so stay tuned. Let's start with a bit of context. At the beginning of 2023, the estimated annual net cost of illegal immigration for the United States hit a staggering $115.7 billion. In just one month, December 2023, US Border Patrol agents detained more than 225,000 people crossing the southern border. While illegal immigration is an issue nationwide, its impact varies across different states, driven by factors like job availability, family ties, or the overall quality of life. With approximately 11 million unauthorized immigrants living in the US, let's take a closer look at where these populations are spread and how they affect state resources. Starting at the bottom of the list, West Virginia and North Dakota, at positions 50 and 49, each have an estimated 6,000 undocumented immigrants. While these numbers might seem small, the ripple effects are significant. In both states, communities see increased demands on public services like healthcare and education. Some families have children who, who were born in the US, meaning local schools have had to adjust to meet the needs of these young students. Moving up to Wyoming and Montana, positions 48 and 47, both states host around 8,000 undocumented immigrants. These rural areas, while not typical hotspots for immigration, have seen gradual changes. Families settle here seeking work in industries like agriculture, and their presence adds complexity to the local labor force and public services. South Dakota, ranked 46th, has an estimated thousand undocumented immigrants. Here, local schools are seeing the effects as children born into immigrant households enter the system, requiring additional resources to support their educational development. In Vermont, with its rich landscapes and small town charm, roughly 10,000 undocumented immigrants, ranked 45, play a vital role in the agricultural sector. Nearly 10% of Vermont's farm workforce is made up of immigrants, which helps sustain the state's economy. These workers, often tied to seasonal agricultural jobs, have strong connections to their communities, despite the state's relatively small immigrant population. Heading east to Maine, ranked 44th, about 12,000 undocumented immigrants reside here. The state's reputation for safety and quiet living attracts people seeking stability. For Maine's school systems, this means adapting to new families and their children, who contribute to a more diverse student body. New Hampshire, with its thriving economy and reputation for low crime rates, is home to around 14,000 undocumented immigrants, ranked 43. These individuals, drawn by job opportunities in industries like construction and manufacturing, have become an important part of the local workforce. Alaska, ranked 42, is often seen as remote and isolated, but it's still home to an estimated 15,000 undocumented immigrants. People are drawn to the state's labor market, particularly in industries like fishing and tourism, contributing to local economies in surprising ways. Mississippi, ranked 41, sees a significant jump with about 34,000 undocumented immigrants. This Southern state faces increased demand on social services and schools, especially in areas with growing immigrant families. 
Delaware comes in at 40, with an estimated 5,000 undocumented immigrants. As a small state with a growing economy, Delaware has seen more immigrants settling in its urban and suburban areas, where they work in industries like hospitality and agriculture. Rhode Island, the smallest state, ranks 39th, with an estimated 42,000 undocumented immigrants. Although it's small, Rhode Island's economy relies on immigrant labor, especially in sectors like healthcare and construction, making these residents integral to the state's workforce. In Hawaii, ranked 38, around 51,000 undocumented immigrants live amidst the island's tropical landscapes. The tourism-driven economy relies heavily on immigrant labor, particularly in hotels and restaurants, making their contribution essential to maintaining Hawaii's status as a vacation destination. Then we have Iowa, ranked 37th, has about 55,000 undocumented immigrants. Known for its agriculture, many of these individuals work in farming, food processing, and other essential services, playing a key role in maintaining the state's agricultural dominance. Nebraska, ranked 36, sees similar trends, with 56,000 undocumented immigrants making up a significant portion of its workforce. Immigrants here contribute to local industries, including meatpacking and agriculture, which are pillars of Nebraska's economy. Idaho, the gem state comes in at 35, with about 62,000 undocumented immigrants. Idaho's booming agriculture and food production industries depend on immigrant labor to keep pace with growing demand, highlighting how vital these workers are to the state's economic success. In Kentucky, ranked 34, an estimated 69,000 undocumented immigrants have settled in the Bluegrass State, contributing to industries like construction and farming. Many families here have deep roots in the community, building lives over many years. Missouri, ranked 33, is home to about 77,000 undocumented immigrants. Known for its manufacturing and agriculture sectors, Missouri has seen these individuals become a crucial part of the local workforce, helping sustain the state's economic growth. Alabama, at number 32, has roughly 91,000 undocumented immigrants. Many work in construction and manufacturing, and they play an essential role in the state's economy, despite the ongoing debates over immigration policies. In Arkansas and Louisiana, with the position 31 and 30, an estimated 97,000 undocumented immigrants live in each state. Both states rely heavily on immigrant labor, particularly in agriculture, construction, and service industries. These workers fill critical roles that support local economies. Kansas, ranked 29th, is home to more than 104,000 undocumented immigrants, while Wisconsin, at 28, has around 111,000. Both states benefit from immigrant labor, particularly in agriculture, but also face challenges related to providing adequate public services. South Carolina, ranked 27, deals with an estimated 117,000 undocumented immigrants. Many work in agriculture and manufacturing, industries that are crucial to the state's economy. The state has developed initiatives to manage the challenges brought on by these population changes. New Mexico ranked 26, with around 119,000 undocumented immigrants, shares a border with Mexico, making it a key entry point for many immigrants. Its proximity to the border means local communities have a long history of balancing the opportunities 
and challenges that come with immigration. Ohio, ranked 25th, has an estimated 132,000 undocumented immigrants. Many have found work in manufacturing, which remains a critical industry in the state, contributing significantly to Ohio's economy. Oklahoma, ranked 24, hosts about 136,000 undocumented immigrants. Despite the use of the E-Verify system to check employment eligibility, many immigrants still find work in construction and agriculture. Utah, ranked 23, is home to around 137,000 undocumented immigrants. Many have found work in the state's growing tech and construction industries, highlighting the diverse roles immigrants play in different sectors. Minnesota, ranked 22, has an estimated 140,000 undocumented immigrants. The state's agriculture and food production sectors rely heavily on this workforce. But there's also a growing presence in healthcare and education. Indiana, at number 21, with 154,000 undocumented immigrants, has a long history of welcoming workers in the manufacturing sector where many immigrants have found stable employment. Tennessee, ranked 20, is home to around 162,000 undocumented immigrants. Many have settled in urban centers where they contribute to the state's growing industries like healthcare and construction. Connecticut, ranked nine, hosts an estimated 7,000 undocumented immigrants. Known for its wealth and proximity to New York City, many immigrants find work in service industries supporting the state's higher income residents. Oregon, at 18, is home to about 181,000 undocumented immigrants, many of whom contribute to the state's agricultural and tech sectors. As one of the more progressive states, Oregon continues to debate how best to integrate these communities. Michigan, ranked 17, with an estimated 185,000 undocumented immigrants, has seen many immigrants settle in cities like Detroit, where they contribute to the recovery of the local economy, particularly in the manufacturing and service industries. Pennsylvania, ranked 16, is home to approximately 251,000 undocumented immigrants. Many work in agriculture, construction, and service industries essential to the state's economy. Colorado, ranked 15, sees around 278,000 undocumented immigrants contributing to its construction and service industries, which have seen rapid growth in recent years. Massachusetts, ranked 14, with 292,000 undocumented immigrants, has a significant immigrant population contributing to its healthcare and technology sectors. Nevada, ranked 13, with an estimated 293,000 undocumented immigrants, relies heavily on immigrant labor to support its booming tourism industry, particularly in Las Vegas. Washington, ranked 12, is home to about 346,000 undocumented immigrants. Many work in agriculture and tech industries, making Washington's economy more dynamic, but also putting pressure on public services. Maryland, ranked 11, hosts around 350,000 undocumented immigrants. Its proximity to Washington, D.C. makes it an attractive location for immigrants seeking economic opportunities and family reunification. Virginia, ranked 10, is home to about 419,000 undocumented immigrants. Many have found work in industries like construction, healthcare, and hospitality, contributing to the state's economic growth. Arizona, ranked nine, with around 453,000 undocumented immigrants, is one of the states most affected by immigration due to its proximity to the Mexican border. Immigrants here 
often work in agriculture and construction, key pillars of the state's economy. North Carolina ranked eight, with approximately 488,000 undocumented immigrants, has seen a significant increase in immigration in recent years. Many work in agriculture, but there's also a growing presence in healthcare and education. Georgia, ranked seven, is home to around 540,000 undocumented immigrants, contributing to the state's economy, particularly in agriculture, construction, and service industries. Illinois, ranked six, with about 628,000 undocumented immigrants, is a major hub for immigrants, with many settling in Chicago. These individuals contribute to a wide range of industries, from food production to healthcare. New Jersey, ranked five, is home to around 697,000 undocumented immigrants. Many work in service industries, construction, and healthcare, playing a crucial role in the state's economy. New York, ranked four, with an estimated 181,000 undocumented immigrants, has long been a destination for immigrants seeking better opportunities. The state's diverse economy relies on immigrant labor in sectors like hospitality, healthcare, and education. Florida ranked three with approximately 1,000 to undocumented immigrants has seen significant immigration due to its large agricultural sector and proximity to Latin America. Immigrants also play an essential role in tourism and construction. Texas, ranked two, is home to about 2,226,000 undocumented immigrants. As a border state, Texas has long been a gateway for immigrants seeking work in industries like agriculture, construction, and energy. Finally, California, ranked one, with approximately 3,226,000 undocumented immigrants, has the largest immigrant population in the US. Immigrants are integral to California's economy, especially in agriculture, technology, and service industries. Despite the challenges, California continues to be a top destination for immigrants seeking better opportunities. And now we want to know your opinion. What do you think is the solution for illegal immigration? Share your insights in the comments below. If this topic was interesting to you, check out our latest video to learn about the 10 fastest dying states in the United States. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to stay updated on our latest explorations of the complex and fascinating world we live in.